A welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the mysterious and fascinating world of black holes. Get ready to have your mind blown with these eight incredible facts. We're talking about objects so dense with gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. These are places where the laws of physics as we know them get stretched, twisted, and maybe even break down entirely. So buckle up, space cadets, as we journey into the hearts of darkness themselves to explore the most extreme objects in the universe, black holes. Imagine a place where gravity is the ultimate ruler, where its pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. That, my friends, is a black hole. These cosmic monsters are regions of space-time where gravity's grip is inescapable. It's like a cosmic drain, where matter and energy fall in, but nothing can come back out. Think about that for a second. Not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can outrun a black hole's gravitational pull. This is why we can't see black holes directly. No light escapes from them to reach our telescopes. But don't worry, we have other ways of detecting these elusive beasts, as you'll soon discover. So, how do black holes form? Well, it all starts with the death of a massive star. Our story begins in 1964 with the discovery of Cygnus X-1, a powerful X-ray source located some 6,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus, the Swan. Astronomers noticed something strange about this object. It was emitting intense X-rays, far more than any normal star could produce. These X-rays were coming from a binary star system, two stars orbiting each other. One star was a blue supergiant, a massive star burning brightly, but its companion was invisible, a mysterious object pulling in the supergiant's material. This invisible object was incredibly dense, packing several times the mass of our Sun into a region smaller than our solar system. And so Cygnus X-1 became the first confirmed black hole, a discovery that sent shockwaves through the world of astronomy. Black holes come in a variety of sizes, a cosmic tapestry woven with threads of darkness. At one end of the spectrum are stellar mass black holes, formed from the collapse of massive stars. These black holes typically have masses a few times that of our Sun, but they're squeezed into a region just a few miles across. Then, we have the behemoths, the supermassive black holes. These cosmic titans lurk at the centers of galaxies including our own Milky Way. Supermassive black holes can have millions or even billions of times the mass of our Sun, and their gravitational influence shapes the evolution of entire galaxies. Think about that. A single object, a black hole, holding sway over the destinies of billions of stars. Now that's power. Chapter four, our galactic neighbor. Don't worry, we're not about to be swallowed by a black hole anytime soon. But it is interesting to know that the closest known black hole to Earth is V616 Monocerotis, lurking about 3,000 light years away in the constellation Monoceros. That might sound pretty far away, and in cosmic terms it is, but it's close enough for astronomers to study in detail, learning more about these enigmatic objects. Vive 616. Monocerotis is a binary system, with a black hole about 10 times the mass of our Sun, locked in a gravitational dance with a companion star. As the black hole pulls in material from its companion, it heats up, emitting X-rays that we can detect here on Earth. It's a cosmic ballet, a delicate interplay between gravity, matter, and energy. Chapter 5 When Black Holes Collide Imagine two of the most massive objects in the universe, locked in a gravitational embrace, spiraling closer and closer until, boom. They collide in a cataclysmic event that sends ripples through the fabric of space-time itself. That's what happens when black holes merge. These mergers are some of the most energetic events in the universe, releasing more energy in a fraction of a second than all the stars in the observable universe combined. As the black holes spiral inward, they distort space-time, creating gravitational waves that propagate outward at the speed of light. These gravitational waves carry information about the merging black holes, 
providing us with a unique window into the universe's most extreme environments. It's like listening to the universe's symphony, with black hole mergers providing the bass notes, deep and resonant. Time, that relentless river that seems to flow at a constant pace, well, it doesn't play by the same rules near a black hole. You see, according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity affects the flow of time. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time moves. And since black holes have the strongest gravitational fields in the universe, time near them behaves very strangely indeed. Imagine you could travel close to a black hole and then return to Earth. You'd find that time had passed much more slowly for you than it had for everyone else. You might only age a few years while decades, centuries, or even millennia passed on Earth. It's like taking a shortcut through time, but one with some pretty mind-bending consequences. Black holes, those cosmic vacuum cleaners, those seemingly inescapable traps of gravity, they don't last forever. In the 1970s, Stephen Hawking, one of the greatest minds of our time, made a groundbreaking discovery. He theorized that black holes aren't completely black after all. Instead, they emit a faint radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, due to quantum effects near the event horizon, the point of no return around a black hole. This radiation carries away energy from the black hole, causing it to slowly lose mass over time. It's a bit like a leaky faucet, slowly dripping away the black hole's mass until, eventually, it evaporates entirely. But don't worry, this process takes an incredibly long time far longer than the current age of the universe. At the heart of every black hole lies a singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we know them break down. Imagine all the matter of a star, or even an entire galaxy, crushed into an infinitely small point. That's the singularity. We can't see the singularity directly, as it's hidden behind the event horizon, but we know it must be there, based on our understanding of gravity. The singularity is a place of extremes, where gravity is infinitely strong and space-time is infinitely curved. It's a place where our current understanding of physics simply can't explain what's going on. The singularity remains one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics, a challenge for future generations of scientists to unravel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about black holes, make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating science content. Black holes are just one of the many wonders that the universe has to offer. So keep exploring, keep asking questions and never stop learning. See you next time.